Hello guys, hello everybody, how you guys doing today? Well, a lot of people and a lot of my friends have been asking me, Creeper, why don't you do a commentary? A life story or something about gaming, what do you think about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Uh, they've been talking to me, they've been asking me to make a video about some good topic and honestly, I've been <laughs> really occupied, my mind has been so occupied into resolving this problem but i'm using the black ops to throw back gameplay i got on um, my xbox 360 and i turned on my i got my um, xbox one and i'm like i'm gonna go run around with my life like back in 2013 run around and on own noobs but that is not the topic of today you don't even have to watch this gameplay of me running around being a tryhard with a handgun I'm going to talk to you guys about something that happened to me back in 2005 when I used to be married to my wife back in that day when I, we used to be married one time it was a Saturday Saturday morning well not really morning it was like around noon and no I lie I lie I'll say Friday I'm sorry uh we get on the car we have expired plates. I didn't notice that. Uh, we used to drive a Toyota, Toyota Corolla or something like that. 1993. So we get a kid. We get on the highway and we head down I-17. Now this right here is in Phoenix, Arizona. And we head down southbound I-17. We go to Cactus Road right at the exit. Right on the first right hand side the first light there is a food city if you don't know what a, what a food city is it's it's like a market like a community market kind of thing they sell only food groceries anything like that but food city is well known for like mostly hispanics go to food city because arizona is you know it's got a whole bunch of hispanics and a whole bunch of spanish like mexican stores and such and such well, and anybody goes and buys a food city. But we went there. I'm like, okay, you know, we got up. We're going to go over there and buy some goods. So we went, got our groceries and whatever. And we left the uh, food city. So we got on Cactus Road, ready to turn to get into I-17. And this highway patrol gets behind us. Now you all know how, you know, when you get, when you have a cop right behind you, you know how you get like nervous and you start looking back and I, I guess the highway patrol noticed that. Well, he followed us right before we got into the freeway. He like right before we got into the freeway, he turned the lights on. Now this is a highway patrol, uh, and he said, "How are you guys doing?" I was like, "Good," you know. He's like. Uh, the reason why I pulled you over is because you have expired tags. Like, okay. And so he asked us, like, all right. You, well, I wasn't driving. She was driving. She's And, and the cop said, uh, you have your driver's license? And so she pulled it out. And he's like, L and he asked me, can I see your ID? I said, sure. So I had a ticket that I hadn't paid for, like, six months. And I forgot to pay it. Now, back Back, back in these days is when, you know, I used to live in an apartment. So it was like a six-month apartment thing, and we would move to another one. So the bill, I forgot about it. I never paid the bill. Probably the ticket of the or the bill was getting billed to my house, and I forgot about it. So they pretty a warrant for my arrest. So this cop, he said, uh, Sergio. I was like, yeah. Uh, well, if you guys didn't know, that's my name, my real name. He, he said, can you step out of the car? I'm like, sure. He said, okay, you know what? No. I'm, I'm going to tell you what we're, we're going to do. You're going to step out of the car. I'm going to take you to court. You're going to see the judge. And I'm going to bring you back to the car. I'm not going to arrest you. I'm going to make your day. I was like, what? He said, the only thing I want to check is I want to make sure you don't have any weapons or any drugs on you. I said, sure. Go right ahead. You know. But we call one of my uh, family members he came and got the because my wife didn't want to leave me in there so we all went to the court and and uh, I didn't get arrested <laughs> but 
one of my family members came and picked up the kid. So the so the highway patrol like is standing right there with me and people at the court they're like looking at us. Now this is a small court. It's it's the cactus municipal court, something like that. Like Glendale. It's not like the superior court over here or something. It's like a small court. So he uh, he took me there. I didn't get arrested. He opened the door for us like I'm a celebrity or something. And, you know, me and my wife get out of the cop car. Now, I'm not under arrest. I don't have the handcuffs on me. And you must be thinking, Creeper, you're full of shit. Well, when that shit was happening to me, I was like, what the fuck is going on in here? So, I went there. We seen the judge. Uh, the judge said, uh, so... Are you gonna stay with him? And and the cop said, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him back to their car." So he gave my wife a citation for the expired tags, and you know we had so, so many days to do it, and we had to show up to court and show the paper. But the the stuff that amazes me here, it's that there is beautiful people out there. They are amazing cops. There's a lot of people that say, fight, fuck the cops. But, and I would say the same if one fucks with me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, fuck the cop. But this highway patrol, he treated me with respect. And he made my day. So that right there is like something crazy. You may be telling me, Sir Creeper, you're full of shit. You know what? I don't give a shit if you believe me or not. But this highway patrol, and I wish I knew his name, and I wish I had a way to find out or, 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 or say thank you <laughs> or something, you know. I was mind blown by the, the respect that he showed me. And now, a lot of people say, whoa, cops killed such and such person, and people start making a revelation. Well, right there, what if that day when I got, when we got the lights on, we would have taken off because... Oh, you know, there's a warrant for my arrest, and now, th- now I'm a fugitive, and 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 I'm resisting arrest, and and um, I don't want to get searched because I'm hiding something, or because I don't want my my um my rights to be violated by a cop because I got the right to refuse a search with no possible cause. Believe me, I know, I know, I know, I know a little bit about the law. I'm not illiterate about it, but anyways, so. This cop showed me respect. He took me to court. I told this cop, God bless you and God bless your whole family. Thank you. You know, he made me feel when we was at the court, people were looking at us like they were looking at me like I'm some kind of an artist or something. Even though I got the looks, of course, I'm kidding. But that day right there, guys, it's something that I haven't really tell a lot of people because if I say it, they'll be like, ah, you're a show off and you're a fucking liar. So go ahead, type on the comments, Creeper, you're a liar. But if you believe me or not believe me, I really don't give one fucking crap. But what I want to entitle here, and my point of this here, if you get pulled over, and you resist arrest, and you reach to your pockets, and you, dude, even if it's me, my life or your life, Okay, now people say, well, cops are here to serve and protect. Well, have something in your fucking mind. They are still fucking human beings with nerves. They get angry. They get sad. They eat. They fucking crap. They are not robots. They are humans with emotions. So, creeper, these people shouldn't be be cops. I'm like, hey, we all choose our destiny. You know, a lot of people that, you know, run from the cops and... When they're cornered, they reach for their gun or for a knife or something and BAM! 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 You're down. You're dead. So, let me say something. I've been pulled over many times. And I've, been, I've had a lot of fucking tickets for, you know, just driving, not recklessly, but the stupidly probably. Or just because there's some people, like some cops out there, if they see you Hispanic, Oh, let me pull them over. And they find whatever probable cause to pull you over. But like I said, there's human beings out there. They are amazing cops and they're dirty cops. It's just like good, good, good humans and bad humans. You know, that is what the world is about. So don't start here saying, well, fuck the cops and yada, yada, yada. I hope you guys understood the point 
of this commentary. And if you didn't, then there's something wrong in your brain. You're fucked. <laughs>